Over the past two years, I've been shooting a ton of lineups and I've been really, really trying to focus on getting the perfect lineup. Today, I'm going to be driving up to LA and shooting a moon lineup. Tonight, there is going to be almost a full moon. Um, the full moon was actually yesterday, which they had the eclipse, but it was cloudy and rainy, so I didn't have a chance to actually shoot anything. But today, it looks like the conditions are going to be perfect and there might actually be some snow on the mountains. So that might be a crazy, crazy photo as well. So I'm going to drive up there real quick and show you where I'm going to be shooting and how I'm going to set everything up. So the two apps that you need to download in order to actually get the perfect lineup is Planet Pro and Google Earth. So Planet Pro is actually a pretty hard uh, app in order to actually use. Uh, I'll actually drop a uh, link down in the description on how exactly it works. And yeah, I'll show you also on screen how it works. Uh, you can see a actual view of the city of what everything is going to be looking like when you're actually going to go to the location. So in order to actually find the specific location that will be the perfect lineup, you need to go on Google Earth to find a good view of the city from that area. And there is a small, small civil sliver of where you actually want to get the perfect lineup. So be very, very specific on where you're actually gonna be shooting at. Another thing that you have to worry about is the conditions. So if it is a cloudy day, there's no chance of that and that you're actually gonna be able to get the perfect photo that you wanna get. Uh, I have actually still driven up if there was a cloudy day and just in case if I would be able to get a photo or not, I'll show you the photos that I've gotten on days like that. Uh, sometimes you completely miss it, but other times you get a really, really lucky chance and you get the photo kind of that you wanted to. And you only get one chance every month in order to get the full moon lineup. So that's another thing. It's really, really tricky. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you how to actually shoot it and the gear that I use. The gear that I use to actually shoot these lineups, obviously I have a telephoto. The one that I use is a 100 to 400 Sigma. And the camera that I have been using for the past like three, four years now is my Sony a7 III. So whenever I go to shoot a lineup, I always get to that location like at least 30 minutes or an hour early. And I also need to check out the conditions to see if I'll be able to actually get the photo that I want to. And also if it'll actually line up exactly where it should be. The conditions obviously vary depending on the uh, location and where or what time of the lineup is going to actually be at. And on this one that I actually shot uh, on this video, uh, I shot it at 300 millimeters at f6.3 and the shutter speed was 1 over 4 and the ISO was 1250. So as you can tell, it was really, really dark out. So it's hard to get an actual sharp photo like that, especially when it is windy. When you are actually shooting a moon lineup when it's nighttime, um, I would highly recommend uh, overexposing the moon and always focus on the city. Whenever I first started shooting moon lineups, for some reason I ended up exposing it on the moon and then after that you would have to crank up the shadows and the blacks and it made the photos look really, really bad. So what I learned uh, just by trial and error is I always expose for the city and then after I get a photo of the moon after and expose the moon after that and then overlay two of those photos in order to get uh, the details from the moon onto the detailed photo of the city. So here's a little behind the scenes of how I shot this lineup. I got to that location right where the sun was actually going to be setting. Uh, the moon lineup was actually going to be around uh, 6 p.m. Uh, so I got there like an hour early just so I could check out the location and see what the conditions are going to be like. So when I got there, there was actually a really, really nice sunset. So I did end up getting a cool photo from that and I'll pop that in the screen right now. Uh, unfortunately, there were clouds blocking the uh, mountains so you couldn't see the uh, snow from there. But as you can see, um, the lineup that everyone really wanted to get uh, on this shoot is a little bit messed up because of the elevation of where the clouds are at compared to what everyone wanted to shoot uh, for the lineup. So there were actually two different groups of photographers um, that people were actually gonna shoot at. Uh, the main location that everyone wanted to shoot and then people moved over to this other location to try to see if the moonrise will move a little bit more because it's gonna be a little bit higher up in the sky because of the clouds. Uh, I ended up sticking at the same location because I still wanted to be able to get the photo 
uh, of the uh, US Bank lined up and I thought that it would line up like perfectly. Thankfully it did and I ended up getting the photo that I wanted to. With the clouds the photo actually looks super super nice and uh, a little bit more different compared to what I've shot before at this location because obviously I've been to this location a bunch of times because I have shot a bunch of lineups here. Um, it's not my favorite moon photo that I've shot, but it is definitely a nice one for sure. Uh, I ended up posting this on TikTok and Twitter the day after I shot that, and it both of them went very, very well. They both went viral. Uh, well, technically viral, whatever you guys want to say what viral is, but on TikTok, it has like 2 million views, which is really good, and on uh, Twitter, it has like over 2 million impressions, so I am really, really happy about the results and everything that I've shot. So I hope you got a little bit of inspiration from me shooting this specific shoot. Uh, it's definitely a bit more tricky, and it's definitely not something that a lot of people shoot, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, and if you did, drop a like down in the description, and I will see you in the next one.